morning, sir. This is the report of Power Group, Module 12, Material Handling. And our introduction is Material Handling. Material Handling is the process of moving goods and materials in short distance within a building, factory, facility, or warehouse. Material Handling includes a wide range of different types of materials, ranging from tiny boxes to large and heavy components for manufacturing to conduct this process of material handling. There is a wide range of material handling equipment. And there is three types of equipment for material handling. This is the manual, semi-automated, and automated equipment. And this is the other meaning of material handling. Material handling, it is used to help create time, place, time, place, utility through handling storage and the control of the material as process. Material handling incorporates a wide range of manual, semi-automated, and automated equipment and system that supports logistics and makes the supply chain work. Thank you. of material handling plays is significant and has become a topic of discussion in particular among manufacturing companies every type of product that has been manufactured or produced has been involved in a material handling sequence of some sort whether that that be transported via forklift or along a conveyor line so Conveyor, conveyor line is a common piece of mechanical handling equipment that move material from location to another. Ten principles of ma material handling. Oh, next. First, planning principle. Be clear objective, objectives, objectives and functional speci specialization of the pro procedure methods. So, sa una, kailangan natin maging, magkaroon ng plan kasi kapag wala tayong plan, mag magkakagulo-gulo at saka magkakonsume siya ng time. At saka pwede rin makadamage din to ng mga materials na, materials na inahand natin. Tapos, and second, Standard standardization principle. Equipment controls and software must be standards. Standardized. When the limits, when the limits in the tactic achieve global performance objective without specific space, sacrificing flexibility, modularity, and production. So, dito sa pangalawa natin. Standardization. Uh, the planner should select method and equipments that can perform a variety of tasks under the variety of operating con conditions and of anticipation of charging future requirements. So dito sa pangalawa, uh, kailangan uh, alam natin kung ano yung gagamitin na equipments, yung, yung kayang mag-handle nun. Halimbawa, hindi mo kailangan niangat yung, yung materials natin na i-move natin sa warehouse. Pwede natin gamitin yung ano lang, uh, yung pallet jack lang, yung tinutulak lang siya. Tapos, kung kailangan niya angat, kailangan natin na for clip or masyadong mabigat. So, sa pangatlo, work, work principle, material handling, work should have, work should be, should be without sacrificing productivity or the required level of operations. So dito sa so work work, prin work principle kailangan natin dito maging masuri kung anong gagamitin natin ano parang katulad din sa si number 2. Kung halimbawa ah uh, uh, ano uh, ito exam basic example dito ah uh, kung liquid yung i-transfer natin or nating kung ililipat natin siya imbis na ilipat natin siya bubuhatin natin siya na yung liquid kasi masyadong mabigat ang liquid. Uh, halimbawa gas ganyan. Pwede tayong gumamit ng pump, pump para mas mabilis ilipat tapos hindi na siya na time consuming. Tapos sa number 4, 
ergonomic principle. Human capabilities and limitations must be recognized to ensure safe and effectiveness operation. So dito, the material, <clears throat> the equipment should be selected, eliminated, respective manual labor. But the material handling, workplace, and equipment must be designed. Are they so safe? They are safe for people. So kailangan natin dito, ipagmagahan tayo. Kailangan safe din yung mga workers natin. Tapos yung mga maghandling ng mga, ng mga materials. Kailangan, may mga ano kasi tayo, may mga ginagamit tayo katulad ng mga strap. Yung mga pallet strap natin. Yung parang mga loop, mga tali, ganun. And then number, um, wait, hindi, hindi pa tapos. Number five, number five, unit load principle. The unit load must be of the appropriate size and be con configure according to the, to which they achieve a material flow and and the inventory objective each storage of the supply chain so dito uh, kailangan alimbawa ang basic example dito is uh, may container tayo tas pwede natin pagsama-samahin doon yung mga yung mga materials na halimbawa yung nap yung tornilyo yung magkakasama-sama na yung pwede siyang yung maliliit na bagay kaysa kaysa individually na the transport kasi mas matagal yun. Okay, next. Number six. Uh, space utilization principle. Effective and effect, efficient use of available space must be made. So, yun, parang ganun din yung sa number five na kailangan i-consume natin lahat ng space na available. Uh, gumamit tayo ng box kasi para Ah, uh, mako-consume natin lahat ng ano, wala walang spacing na matitira sa pagkaano natin, pag pag store natin or pag handling natin ng ng mga materials. Number seven, steam principle. Material movement and storage must be fully integrated to form an operating system that encompasses reception and inspection storage product assembly packing packaging and unification unification under selection shipping transportation and claim handling so information information flow i wait lang uh, system integration should be encompasses the entire supply chain, include several logistics. It should be include supplier, manufacturer, distributor, and consumer. Met and then method should be method should be provided for easily identify materials and product to determine their location and status within the facilities in the supply chain for the controlling of for the controlling their movements. Then number seven, number eight. Uh, number eight, uh, automation automation principle. Material handling operation should be automated where possible in order to improve operation efficiently, increase responses, improve consensity, consistency, consistency and predict, predictability, and lower operation cost. Item that expect expected to be handled automated must be standard shapes and our features and permit merchandise and other automated handling. Uh, environmental principle. The env environmental principle and energy consumption must be considered criti criteria when selecting equipment for handling materials. So ito, environmental Environmental impact and energy consumption should be con considered while designing, selecting alternative equipments, material handling system. So, and sa number 10 naman po, the, ano, lastly, life cycle cost principle. Development of con comprehensive 
economic analysis that takes into account the inter entire life cycle of material handling and system. So, magagamit mo siya parang mag, halimbawa, sira na siya. Pwede mo pa siyang maayos. Thank you. Thank you. Nakamit ka ata. Sorry. This is where the idea of lean manufacturing and Six Sigma have originated as process and idea to eliminate deficiency within the manufacturing process. Warehouse isn't then easy to take to accomplish the dynamic environment that all industry exists in today. Make it very, make it very difficult to plan long term, especially with the development of the internet and the personalization of many products. It has become more and more difficult for manufacturers to keep up with the level of customization now offered to customers. Next. Six Sigma. Six Sigma. Six Sigma is a discipline approach for organization to improve production process or service stability. Example, the waiting time when the different customers are calling a call center. Reduce costs, eliminate defect, and deliver good customer service by anal analyzing statistical information. Next is Lean Marketers. Lean Marketers focus on result of small trial campaign Learn from the result and evolve the element of the campaign. Element of lean marketing process. Persona. Identify who are trying to engage with your marketing. This is eliminates the wheel spinning and wasteful communication that are not targeted. A marketing process that support analytic adapted learning and inter interaction analytics. Web or app anal analytics that can measure behavior and interaction. Testing and measurement tools. Testing mar marketing automation and life cycle tracking to the test and validate your communications design and idea. Refine approval process for publishing and launching smaller pilots, test, trial, or micro campaigns. Lean marketing is always in. Interactive build and create small business, get them into market quickly, measure and result lean, and integrate using the lessons learned. That's all. Thank you. Next reporter is Ronel Lungay.
automation. Our next po, next slide. Our next po, next slide. Yeah. Automation. Automation is the creation and application of technologies to produce and deliver goods and services with minimal human intervention. So from the word it's itself po, automatic. When we say automation po, these are the technologies, systems, or equipments that are used para po yung human activities within the, within a warehouse ay mas, mapa, mas mabawasan. Through automation po, mas napapabilis yung process ng raw materials or products sa isang manufacturing warehouse and mas nababawasan din po yung yung human errors. Like for example po, itong first picture, yung may mga bottles. Yung ilalim po niyan is, yung tawag po dyan is, ano, tawag po dyan is assisted working e equipment na ginagamit para po yung bottles ano naggalaw for example sa isang warehouse kung tao gagawa niyan kung tao gagawa niyan syempre una mas maraming labor kasi maraming products let's say ang production nila sa isang araw is 50,000 pieces imagine kung tao lang yung gagawa nun, gaano karaming tao gaano kahaba yung time na magagamit nila and yung sa bilang Di ba, kadalasan po sa mga warehouses, galing sa past lessons natin, kadalasan na nag-occur dito yung human errors. Kunyari, mali yung bilang ng products na i-deliver, ganun. So, using automation po, mas nalilesen yung mga ganong human errors. Tapos, remember po kanina sa three types of equipment for material handling, di ba, meron po tayong manual, semi-automated, and automated equipments. So, yung automation po, nagagamit po siya sa semi-automated at automated equipments. Then, automation is currently used in the warehousing stage for gathering and assembling orders. Yung automation po kasi, pwede siyang magamit sa different stage ng supply chain. And we all know po yung supply chain is napaka-broad. Pero when we say in warehousing lang, sa gathering and assembling orders lang po siya, mostly nagagamit for now. Then, the implementation of automation technologies, techniques, and processes improve the efficiency, reliability, and or speed of many tasks that were previously performed by, hum by humans. So, kagaya po ng sinabi ko kanina, yung process is mas napapadali, nababawasan yung human intervention or yung mga errors na pwedeng mangyari. And then, we can ensure yung efficiency and yung time, yung process, mas mapapabilis using automation. So, next slide po. Assisted working equipment. Next slide po. Assisted working equipment are equipments that are used with an assistance of a person. So, we can say na itong assisted working equipment, mostly sa ano siya, semi-automated. Pwede rin siya sa automated equipments but mostly sa semi-automated equipments wherein kailangan pa ng intervention ng human. It may be easy set up yung system kung gaano katagal, gaano karami ipoproduce ng products. And then this includes the use of lifting equipment, conveying equipment, storage equipment, and ergonomic equipment to increase safely. So next slide po, nandun po yung mga example ng mga e equipments na nabanggit dito. So, ito po yung first is yung lifting equipment. Based po sa picture, ayan po yung boxes. That, that equipment is used para po yung mga mabibigat, especially yung mga mabibigat na, na boxes or materials or products ay, ay may lipat at malagay sa van kung saan i-deliver yung product. So, let's say for example, yung product na i-deliver nyo is washing machine. Dadalhin na sa mall para mabenta. Imagine kung tao lang, kung tao lang yung gagawa niyan, unang-una marami, kailangan marami sila, and matagal. And maano rin din po dyan, pwede po sila magka-injury. 
kung kunyari, mabagsak sa kanila, ganun. Next is yung example ng storage equipment. Makikita niyo po sa picture yung mga racks na, pita- na pinapatungan ng mga boxes. Ayan po yung example ng storage equipment. Then next is material handling conveyor system. Ayan po yung nagalaw, yung katulad ng example ko kanina sa automation. Para po hindi, hindi na kailangan ng tao na buhatin, ilipat sa ganito, sa ganyan na side. And next is yung panel cart. Yung panel cart po is, ito po yung example ng ergonomic equipment. So yung ergonomic equipment po, ginagamit po siya to increase the safety of the persons within the warehouse. So imagine po, kung kunyari, ayan, boxes. Hindi siya gumamit ng panel cart, ililipat niya sa ibang side ng warehouse. Pwede po, kunyari, mabigat yun, magka-injure siya, mabalian siya ng buto sa likod, ganun. So importante rin po talaga yung paggamit ng assisted working equipment within the warehouse. Yun lang po. Next reporter. Good morning po. Sustainable Green Solution. Next report. Next po. Next po ng slide. And next. Sustainable Green Solution, a focus on sustainability has arisen in the last few years. This due to the too many different factors, public perception, environmental impact, and legis- legislation, but aside from that, Sustainable practices can actually save companies money's money practices such as load consolidation and route planning optimize effort in the distribution section and material handling system. This not only diminishes the effect on the environmental but also save on resource used by the company. All of this effort helps companies to improve resource allocation and product planning. This enhances product visibility and tracking while ensuring an accurate delivery service. Dito po, dito po, uh, dito po, mas pinapabuti po ng kumpanya ng paglalaan na may sapat na pagkukunan ng mga resource at may mga planong nakahanda. Tinuturo din din po dito ay magiging practical po sa, sa isang kumpanya. Kung kaya tano, example, kung kaya tano, Example po dito yung sa mga delivery ng pag-deliver ng isang product yung sa mga rutang dinadaanan nila mas naghahanap sila ng mga shortcut or most mas mas efficient upang mas mapabilis yung paggatid ng isang product tap upang mas ma-deliver to on time and may may sapat silang pagpaplano and may time sila para makapag-isip kung ano yung parang next mga next na gagawin nila at hindi sila kinakapos sa sa oras yun lang po next supporter Good morning, everyone. Outsourcing ma- material handling. Next slide po. 
um, outsourcing material handling, this is becoming an increasingly popular way for companies to navigate the supply chain and make use of professionals with well-established material handling system. Uh, material, handling, material handling is one of those terms that we may have heard in passing without fully understanding it. Material handling are incredibly important to the way of our society function. So, yung outsourcing material handling po is ano, um, refers to 3PL stands for third party logistics um, to manage and to improve and optimize the supply chain. Um, ito din po ay inaalaw sa e-commerce businesses to delegate storage and time consuming e-commerce fulfillment tasks while saving money and improving their supply chain. That's all for thank you. Information technology. So what is information technology? Technology. It is the production, handling, storage, security, and interchange of all types of electronic data. Um, it is used any computer, stockpiling, networking, and other physical devices, equipment, and procedures. So let's proceed to the details and explanation of information technology. First, the ability to track product that essential to the aspect of materials handling system uh, it it gives codes that may helps to detail the information of a certain product or materials next this also allows real time creates to consumers as to when they can expect the following products just like shopee po uh na -re recognize natin kung kailan i-deliver yung products na in order natin online next it is the information uh, that uh, help us to easily determine na uh, ano uh, time is money kasi so uh, it helps us to um to short the period of ano uh, ano <laughs> oh my god sorry um it helps us to immediately process a, a certain product, especially to the consumers. Then, this system will only continue to grow more efficient as information becomes more readily available. So, kapag ka, ano, uh, lahat ng information na kailangan natin is nandyan na, uh, makakatulong yun sa atin para mas mapadali yung trabaho and yung pag-sort out natin ng mga materials or products. Yun lang po. Thank you. So, yun po. Next. Automated materials handling. Next slide po. Automated materials handling or AMH refers to information that reduces or eliminates the need for humans to check in, check out, sort materials, or to move totes and bins containing library material. So on the other hand, it involves using robots and other computerized devices for moving, lifting, pulling, pushing, or storing. It increases productivity and reduces waste. Sabi nga po dito, ang automated material handling ay nag-reduce siya sa, pag, sa pangangailangan ng, ng tao or it reduces the human involvement in the manufacturing process. So as a result, uh, mababawasan yung mga human error or injury decreases. Po. Next slide. So, 
dito sa automated materials handling, ito yung mechanical equipments na check machines, sorters, conveyors, singulators, stockers, and the stockers, totes, beams, trolleys, and totes carriers. So, dito po may mga iba't ibang belt, pulleys, chutes, slides, and laser na gumagana para mapunta yung mga mga material sa ano nila designated places or bins yun pa next pa. so automated material handling automated materials handling system ensure efficient transport of material from one place to another in the manufacturing area within the same department or bay on opposite ends of the manufacturing floor or even in two separate buildings so as we all know warehouse and manufacturing are changing so they find creative ways to manage inventory and productivity while rethinking system workflow so in this automated materials handling but next slide ah uh, yan example niyan um example diyan ng isang automated materials handling system so um hindi lang siya basta equipment um meron din siya nakapalob na system para gumana yung isang um equipment sa isang manufacturing company and sa warehouse so pag sa ganyan um isimula siya sa isang dock then um um hanggang sa mabuo siya and then hanggang sa boxing siya and then dun sa storage niya so etong system na to um according to Vargas kanina sabi nga nila um less than human error and according to Kapong um um increase work productivity and um yun nga less than human error so um uh, next slide um functions um automated material system and leverage carrier acting system to detect materials placed at a pick up point the operator process the material under the fire to determine the next destination and then transport the material regardless of the type of transport this system are most beneficial when the material information is at a minimum available and visible in the system used by manufacturing staff so yun nga yung functions nito is yung um mapabilis yung work outflow and yung mas dumoble yung productivity ng manufacturing and mapabilis yung pag store ng mga goods or supply dun sa storage and dito sa system na to um it, it includes um barcode on and also QR codes that can identify what kind of carrier or goods or what type of goods are they storing or are they are they making? Pa next slide. So, ang benefit naman nitong automated material handling um it improves easier location materials if efficient use of labor and reduce contamination so dito sa reduce of contamination for example um yung isang um supply hindi siya mahalo sa, sa pang supply so parang hindi siya magkakagulo when it comes to um storing goods and of course the efficient use of labor so in di na siya masyadong kailangan i-manipulate ng tao um kumbaga yung system na mismo yung maglalagay ng box papunta dun sa kabilang building and of course improve cycle times and yun nga easier location of materials yun mas madali malolocate ng manufacturing or ng warehouse yung product or goods yun lang po next na good morning everyone since we're done discussing the automated materials handling Let's plunge into sorters. Do any of you have any idea about sorters? If you have, just answer yes. And if you don't have any idea, kindly say no. 
Thanks for answering. All your ideas may be correct. So listen carefully as we discuss the topic. So before we proceed, please watch this video because it will help us easily. It will help us to easily understand the topic. So, ayan po, nakikita nyo po kapag nagsasol nagsasoli po ng libro yung mga tao, um, ini-input na lang po nila yan dyan sa may, uh, parang sa machine po. Ayan, and then mapaprocess na po yan.
So why the why librarians don't like to think of libraries as warehouses for books? There are a number of technologies developed for warehouses that can be beneficially used in libraries. Technology-based sorters developed for libraries among these are return sorting system and automated storage retrieval system or ASRS which are commonly known in the warehousing industry as materials handling systems. Please watch these videos as well. For the return or sorting system, here's the video. So ayan yung nakikita niyo po diyan, yung katulad ng din ng kanina yung kapag nag-return. Kapag naglalagay ng books, kailangan yung una yung nasa taas yung on the top part po ng book. And then may, re may receipt po na uh, um, lalabas kapag pinindig mo yung printing receipt. na detect din ng um ng equipment na rin, ng equipment na yan kung may sira yung libro or mali yung pagkakapasok ganun kahit yung mga ano niya may may barcode kasi yan eh tapos kapag mali yung barcode eh madedetect din ng ano ng makina machine lalabas kung kailan kailan niyo ni return yung date and time Yan, ayan yung pag-aano ng resibo. Katulad sa mga cashier, 'di ba meron sila kapag lalabas na yung ano, yung resibo niyo. Merong parang hole ng paper doon, doon po lumalabas yung resibo. Parang it acts like a bond paper po, ganun. Sineseparate din po nito yung mga libro um, para saan to, yan, yung mga categories niyan. For the second video, ito po yung pangalawa, yung automated storage or retrieval system. Yan. As you can see, nasa malaki siyang box. Aluminum box po. Tapos, ayan, nakakategorize na siya. And then, it will lift up by the machine according to its... Um, proper place. So, the simplest type 
the simplest type of return or sorting system is a patron self-service unit that handles check-in and limits sorting to items to be reshelved and those that have re reserved requests against, against them. The most complex is able to sort return items into scores of categories. Ayun yung, ano, yung sa video na kapag pinasok yung libro. Ayun yung sinasabi dyan. Ayun yung patron self-service unit. And then, yung ASRS or yung automated storage or retrieval system, it consists of computer-driven robotic retrieval of densely stock storage pins. Thus, cutting down on the amount of space required to house a collection. Additionally, when used in libraries, the former consists of book drops, conveyors, and multi-bin cart or book drop sorters that cut down on manual handling and other library materials being returned. So, so ito namang return or sorting system. Um, the library communis, community's term for what are more commonly called conveyor or sortation systems in the warehouse. Wait. And in the warehouse industry, which move materials from the point of return to sorting equipments that can scan barcodes or RFI tags to ascertain into which of several bins, um, yung trolleys, yung carts that accommodate a single stack um, that can be tilted at any one of several angle, angles or special book tracks that can be used for reshelving. The greatest benefit of return or sorting systems is the reduction in ongoing operating costs as the result of a significant reduction in the handling of return items by libraries. Oh. Its staff members do not have to empty book racks, move materials, check them in, reactive the security tags, and place them on book racks. Another thing, the use of return or sorting systems reduces the incidence of repetitive motion injuries for staff. The next one is the automated storage or, or retrieval system. An automated storage and retrieval system or ASRS is designed to store lesser used materials in a minimum of space by eliminating, eliminating stack aisles, storing materials by size, and using building volume more efficiently. Items to be stored are assigned to and placed in a, in a bin according to size, and each bin is assigned a location. The bin address is entered into the computer, which is interfaced with the library's integrated library system. The bins are then placed in an industrial rack assembly. A large assembly may be up to 50 feet high and 90 or more feet long. A computer-controlled mini-load crane, it's an, it is an electrically driven forklift-like mechanism running on floor-mounted and overhead rails in the space between rocks, moves into and out of the rock, assembly, removing and replacing bins. Ayun nga yung ito, yung nasa PowerPoint. Ayun yung um, computer-controlled mini-load crane. Ayun yung nag-lift up na mga, ng books. When, when an item is requested, the bin location is sent to the mini load crane, which retrieves the bin and carries it to the operator. The operator, guided by a visual display on a PC based workstation, takes the item from the bin and places it on a conveyor or in a pneumatic tube for delivery to the desk. Additional to what I said, there are several, several benefits. To ASRS, among them low, among them are low storage space requirements, high patron success rates, good collection preservation, and low ongoing costs. Next reporter. Interlibrary delivery sorters. Next slide, po. So what is an interlibrary delivery sorters? It is sorters with no direct connection 
to the patron check-in module are usually used for sorting interlibrary delivery items. Material that has been requested from one library to fill a hold request at another library. It is also the ideal workflow that maximizes the interlibrary sorter is to use it to eliminate sorting and labeling at the outbound library and to eliminate item level receiving at the receiving level. Next reporter. Dual purpose sorters. Next slide po. A sorter can service both the branch interlibrary deliver sort and operate as a li library sorter with patron induction. In here po, ang dual purpose ng sorters ay mag-service both the branch interlibrary deliver sort, which is in branch interlib interlibrary delivery, inilalagay ng staff ang material sa isang sorters at ang mga item ay pinagbubukod-bukod para sa bawat library in system. At ang isa pa pong purpose ng sorters ay mag-operate as a library sorter with patron induction. The dual, the dual purpose sorters are accomplished in the way na by switching between sort plans o pagbabago ng sort plans at different times a day or the time as indicated. Using sorters, it will sig significantly improve circulation. Dahil mababawasan nito o malilimitahan po nito ang Nito ang gas, ang mga gastos po at ang mga pangangailangan po para sa physical handling ng mga materials at maiiwasan din po nito ang pagkakaroon ng damages ng mga items po. Next slide po. Depending on the sort plan in use, the, the sort destination may be configured with the bins or already shelf cart for sorting of patron returns or with interlibrary delivery thought when sorting the interlibrary delivery. So, sinasabi po dito na depending on the sort plan in use, ang sort destination po, yung sort destination po, ito po yung large warehouse where packages, packages, package, packages, letters, or etc. are sorted. So dito, pinagsasama-sama ang mga items in, in a particular form gamit ang mga bin or ready to shelve na mga cart po for sorting of patron re returns which is arranged systematically in groups, separate according to a type, class, or etc. Kapag naman po magpapa siya kung gaano karami yung mga destinations po ang kailangan sa sorters, at kung anong uri po ng mga lalagyan or yung mga cards po na kakailangan, kakailanganin, halimbawa po yung bin, tote, or card po, dapat po suriin ng library ang kanilang mga return patterns return volumes, at isa alang-alang po ang kanilang mga pangangailangan sa shelving po. Next slide po. Typically, all the items moving through the library system can be sorted in a couple hours. So during that time, return returns might just go to one bin for sorting later, although they still be checked. So sinasabi po dito na ang lahat po ng item na gumagalaw po or nag process po sa library system can be sorted or maaring pag bukod buko rin po sa loob ng ilang oras lamang because the library system is an enterprise resource planning system for library just to track items, items owned, orders made, bill paid, and patterns who have borrowed. Kaya po sa panahon na iyon, ang mga pag babalik po ng, pat, ng mga pattern po, yung mga consumers po ay maaaring pumunta lamang sila sa isang bin for sorting later o para sa pag-sorting ng mga iba, sa mga iba pa pong pagkakataon. Yun lang po. Thank you. So this is where our report ends. Um, thank you for listening and we hope that um, you gain some knowledge. Thank you. Okay na ba? Oops na.